Okay, so I want to show you how to accept an invitation to your team's Google Plus community. And there are actually several different places that you're going to be able to view the invitation from me. Um, but before you're able to view the invitation, you need to make sure that you've added me to one of your circles. And I showed that in a previous video, but I'll go ahead and show that again. So to do that, you're going to click on your tile icon and click on Google Plus. And up here in the search bar, you're going to type in my name, click on it. My profile will come up and you're going to click on or roll over the add to circles. And um, you'll remember from that prior video that I created a circle called Tarleton Oop, but you can add me to any of these circles. Um, and all you do is check there and that shows that I've now been added to that circle. So now you'll be able to see the invitation from me. Okay, so now that I'm added to a circle of yours, you'll notice that you can um, see the invitation up here as a red notification icon in the upper right hand corner. Um, and you can click this to join the community. Or you can roll over here and click on communities on the left hand side. And you'll also see the invitation here under community invitations. And then a third place for you to find the invite would be in Gmail. So you can go to Gmail. And under the social tab, you'll see the invitation from me here um, as an email. So lots of different ways to um, join the community. All you need to do on any of these is just click on preview community. Um, rather than do it from Gmail, I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, do it straight from the community's page just, just because, but any of those places will get you there. And that brings me into the community. I still need to accept the invitation, so I'm just going to click on accept. And now you can see I'm part of the community. And so when you log in, you um, may see other posts from other people, including me. In fact, I'll put a post in here that tells you um, the prompt that you're supposed to respond to. Um, and when you're ready to respond to that prompt, all you click on is under share what's new. And you can type in your text-based response. A really neat thing about um, a Google Plus community is that you can share things like photos, links, videos, events, and polls um, with your text-based response. So for instance, if you have a photo you want to share, you can upload that straight from your computer. And let's just say John Tarleton wants to use the block T with his response. He can upload that here. And John will indicate that he wants to share this with the week two um, forum post and he can click share. But let's say after you've um, after you have um, <laughs> and it's telling me right here after you've posted you find a, a, a mistake and you want to edit it all you need to do is drop this little drop down menu to the upper right hand corner and click on edit post and so you can fix a word or um, add additional words here if you want and save that. Um, besides pictures with your text, um, another th really neat thing is adding video or links. So you can again click on share what's new and you can quickly add in a URL. Um, say you find something out on the web that you want to share with your team. You can add that URL to um, to the post. Um, you can add video and this is really neat here. So say you find a YouTube video you like, you can just paste the URL here from YouTube. You can enter it directly by typing it in. You can enter it from your YouTube video channel if you have one. But this is a neat thing here. You can actually record video straight from here using your webcam. And so um, all you have to do is click allow you say say remember um, and then you can choose whether you want it to use a webcam or just the mic um, if you want it just to be audio um, but that's a really neat way to um, record video straight into your post and then of course you can upload video if you've recorded something and saved it to your computer you can do that as well 
So those are just a few of the options when you're sharing with your team um, of, of ways to enhance your post. So it doesn't always have to be just straight text. You can add in photos and videos and links if you like. Okay, so now you know how to join your community and accept the invite and post within the community. And I hope that you enjoy this really innovative way of connecting with um, other members of your team. Now, just quickly I want to mention, if you for some reason don't see any notifications either here on the bell, um, back over here on communities, or in Gmail, if you don't see an invitation from me in any of those places, it could very well be my mistake. So please let me know as soon as possible if you're not um, seeing that invite to your community and I'll make sure I get you in.